today we are going to talk about uh, the uh, parts, uh, surfaces, muscle attachments, and the nerve supply uh, of the tibia and fibula bones. Uh, these are the bones uh, of the leg. Uh, tibia uh, is the larger bone and it's the medial bone. Uh, however, uh, fibula is the smaller bone and it is the uh, lateral bone of the leg. Um, this is an uh, anterior view uh, of the left side. So how do you know that? Uh, we know it's anterior because we see the uh, tibial tuberosity uh, okay and uh, we also see this very sharp edge uh, of the fibula uh, which is called the anterior uh, border of the fibula so uh, we know that this is anterior and um, the tibia has got the medial malleolus which is medial and the fibula has got the lateral malleolus which is lateral so we can determine or we can imagine that um, this is uh, the left side okay and uh, if it was like this uh, we can know that this is the uh, posterior view uh, because of course uh, we do not see the uh, tibial tuberosity and uh, we do not also see the very sharp edge uh, of the fibula so this is posterior view and of course again this is the medial malleolus and the lateral malleolus uh, so we can imagine that this is the left side uh, all right now let's go ahead and talk about uh, the um, parts and surfaces of the tibia. Uh, okay, so the tibia uh, is divided into three major parts uh, the upper end, uh, the shaft, and uh, the lower end. Okay, so in the upper end, we've got some uh, important spots, so let's go ahead and cover that. Uh, okay, here we go. And um, this is the uh, medial condyle of the tibia. Okay, so all of that. This is the medial condyle. Okay, this is the medial condyle. And this is the lateral condyle okay this is the lateral condyle of the tibia uh, all right and uh, this is of course the tubercle of the tibia or the tibial tuberosity uh, okay to which the ligament patella is attached and uh, here um, this is called the intercondylar eminence okay uh, if, if you view it from here uh, see, uh, this is the intercondylar eminence. Uh, all right, uh, it consists of two tubercles, the uh, medial intercondylar tubercle. Uh, if you view from here, okay, this is the medial uh, medial intercondylar tubercle, and the lateral intercondylar tubercle. But that's not important for our exam. What is important if there's a spot on this. We say that this is the intercondylar eminence. Okay, all right. And uh, these two surfaces are the articular surfaces. Uh, we can name them uh, the uh, medial facet and the lateral facet uh, of the tibia. Uh, okay. Uh, for further information, uh, we can say that uh, this is articular surface uh, of the tibia uh, for articulation with the medial condyle of the femur. Uh, which is filled with the medial meniscus uh, and this is article uh, this is articular surface of the tibia for articulation with the lateral condyle of the femur which is filled with the lateral meniscus uh, all right uh, and also we don't have to forget this uh, this is called the um, anterior intercondylar area and um, this is called the posterior intercondylar area uh, okay, so and here we've got another articulating surface this um, This is the um, Articular surface of the tibia for articulation with the upper end of the femur uh, at the superior uh, tibiofibular joint, okay uh, These two were articular uh, surfaces uh, these two were uh, articular surfaces of the tibia with the medial and lateral condyles uh, of the femur at the knee joint but this is the uh, superior tibiofibular joint okay uh, all right so now this is pretty much everything about the upper end and now let's go to the uh, to the lower end uh, okay in the lower end of the tibia uh, this is the medial malleolus okay this is the medial malleolus uh, all right and uh, here uh, we've got another articulating surface so this is uh, articular surface of the tibia 
uh, for uh, articulation with the talus bone at the ankle joint and uh, we've got this this is called the fibular notch okay this is the fibular notch on the tibia of course it articulates with the lower end of the fibula at the inferior tibiofibular joint uh, all right and uh, now let's talk about the shaft of the tibia okay the shaft of the tibia has got uh, three borders and uh, three surfaces uh, okay let's have a look okay here we go that's it uh, we have got three borders and three surfaces okay this is the anterior border um, this is the medial border okay see this is the medial border um, and this is the interosseous border we call it the interosseous border because um, the one of the ends of the interosseous membrane is attached to this okay this is interosseous border of the tibia and uh, the, the three surfaces that we have this is the medial surface some uh, references call it the anterior surface uh, this is subcutaneous and it is also called the shin of tibia so this is mainly the medial surface uh, this is the lateral surface and of course uh, this is the posterior surface and uh, one more thing that we don't have to forget um, in the uh, uh, on the posterior surface uh, of the shadow of tibia we've got this line which is called the soleal line um, for origin of the soleus muscle which we'll talk about later on this is the soleal line um, okay and uh, that's all about the parts and surfaces about the tibia now let's go to the fibula now let's talk about uh, the parts and surfaces uh, of the fibula uh, so again it's divided into three major parts the upper end the shaft and the lower end okay so uh, the upper end um, we've got apex this small area if you can focus here this very small area is called the apex this is actually not important for our exam, but it's good, it's good to know. This is apex. See if you can focus. Uh, all right, that's it. This is apex. Uh, okay, and uh, then we've got head. This is head. This is head of the fibula. And below that we've got neck. Okay, this is neck. Neck of the fibula. And um, this is uh, articular surface. Okay, see like that. Uh, this is uh, articular surface of the fibula uh, for articulation with the upper end of the tibia at the superior um, uh, tibiofibular joint okay uh, it's important to know that uh, the apex uh, is different from the articular surface uh, okay uh, that's the uh, the upper end and uh, in the lower end uh, we've got the lateral malleolus mm, this is the lateral malleolus and uh, we also have this articulating surface so this is articular surface uh, of the uh, fibula uh, for articulation with the talus bone at the ankle joint okay that's it uh, and uh, now let's talk about uh, the shaft uh, of the fibula uh, so this is the shaft uh, the shaft of the fibula has got uh, four borders and uh, four surfaces uh, it's actually quite difficult to differentiate between them and I looked through many uh, references uh, to conclude what I'm going to tell you. Uh, okay, so uh, here we go. Uh, all right, so now uh, we've got the anterior border. This very sharp uh, edge is called the anterior border. Okay, see if you can focus here. Uh, all the way, this is the anterior border. It's very sharp. All right, uh, and then uh, we've got the interosseous border. This, uh, this is the interosseous border. Okay, see, this is the interosseous border. See, it begins from here. Uh, here, we go like that. This is all the interosseous uh, border. See, we go all the way into here. So this is the uh, interosseous border and then we've got the medial border or the medial crest this is it uh, okay see uh, you can see there from here 
uh, this is the medial border or the medial crest you can see that better from here uh, this is it see uh, this is the medial border um, like that okay all right so if there's a spot on this uh, we'd say that this is the medial border or the medial crest of the female uh, okay and then um, we've got uh, the posterior border it's spiral okay see it goes like that it's kind of spiral this is called the posterior border so posterior border uh, medial border or the medial crest um, anterior border and the interosseous border like that interosseous border okay there you go uh, all right and the, the surfaces uh, that we have uh, between the anterior and the interosseous border we've got the anterior surface so this is all the anterior surface okay and uh, between the anterior and uh, posterior borders we've got the lateral surface this large surface is called the lateral surface um, and then between the posterior and the medial borders we've got the posterior surface it's the posterior surface and finally uh, between the uh, interosseous and uh, medial borders we've got the medial surface so this is the medial surface see medial surface and that's it this is the medial surface okay so uh, and and see anterior surface medial surface natural surface and posterior surface okay uh, so this was all about the uh, parts and surfaces uh, of the uh, tibia and uh, fibula okay so now talking about uh, the uh, muscle attachments of the tibia and fibula so again this is the left side um, all right uh, we're gonna uh, talk about it according to the uh, facial compartments of the leg anterior lateral and posterior okay so muscles of the anterior uh, facial compartment of the leg uh, we've got the tibialis anterior tibialis anterior we've got the uh, extensor digitorum longus see this this and this long thin line all the way down into here this is all the origin of the extensor digitorum longus and then in between we've got the extensor hallucis longus see this is it extensor hallucis longus uh, the extensor uh, digitorum longus and also the extensor hallucis longus are from the anterior surface uh, of the fibula uh, and next we've got the peroneus tertius again from the anterior surface peroneus tertius uh, all right and uh, now let's go to the uh, lateral and uh, before that uh, of course the nerve supply of the muscles of the anterior compartment is through the deep peroneal nerve uh, okay now the lateral surface or uh, the lateral uh, compartment uh, we've got the peroneus longus these two origins this and also this is peroneus longus okay and below that we've got peroneus brevis this is peroneus brevis uh, and of course uh, these are supplied through the superficial peroneal nerve and now let's go to the uh, posterior compartment 
you've got the superficial and deep uh, group of muscles. The superficials are uh, gastrocnemius. Of course, uh, it arises uh, from the femur. And then plantaris again arises from the femur. And then we've got soleus. So this is soleus. This and also this. Uh, its origin is like an inverted v, v shape. Okay, so this and also this are both soleus. Uh, okay, um, and then uh, we've got the deep muscles. Uh, firstly, we've got the popliteus. So this is insertion of the popliteus. Of course, the origin is from the lateral condyle of the femur. Uh, okay, and uh, next uh, we've got uh, a bunch of three other deep uh, muscles. Uh, okay, so the one in the middle uh, is the tibialis posterior. This, okay, all the way. Uh, can see that better? Uh, see, this is all the. Uh, see, that's it. This is tibialis posterior. Tibialis posterior. Uh, along with this over here uh, this is again the tibialis posterior uh, see uh, this was tibialis anterior and right next to it you've got tibialis posterior so tibialis posterior originates both from the fibula and also the tibia okay that's tibialis posterior uh, and uh, on the tibia, uh, we've got the uh, flexor digitorum longus. Uh, on the fibula, we've got the flexor hallucis longus. longus. Uh, okay. And uh, about the nerve supply uh, to the uh, muscles uh, of the posterior compartment, uh, we've got uh, the tibial nerve okay so all the muscles and the posterior compartment of the leg are supplied uh, through the uh, tibial nerve uh, okay and next uh, we've got some other uh, muscles that are not from the compartments of the leg uh, this is ligamentum patellae the continuation of the quadriceps femoris tendon ligamentum patellae Sartorius, gracilus, and semitendinosus. This is semimembranosus. And this is the biceps femoris tendon. Uh, and about uh, the nerve supply, um, the quadriceps femoris and the Sartorius are supplied through the femoral nerve. Uh, the gracilis is supplied through the obturator nerve. Uh, the semi uh, tendinosus and semi membranosus are supplied through the tibial portion of the sciatic nerve. Um, and uh, this was the uh, biceps femoris tendon. Of course, it has got two heads long and short heads. Uh, like this, uh, the short head is supplied uh, by the uh, common peroneal portion uh, of the sciatic nerve and uh, the long head uh, is supplied uh, again by the tibial portion of the sciatic nerve. And uh, that should be all about the part surfaces, muscle attachments and nerve supply of the tibia and fibula.